What a beautiful view. I bet if I yelled really loud, it would echo back. So why not try it? You gotta do things like that while you're still young. When you get to be my age, it can get a little embarrassing. Yeah, alright, why not? Echo! Echo, 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 echo. Alvin! Alvin, 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 Alvin. And what you're doing now isn't embarrassing? A little, a little, a little, a little. Morning. What are you up to? Watching people. Okay. Say, Mila, can I ask you something? Hmm? What's a Spyrex? Why were you trying to destroy that device in Fenmont? Spyrex technology is something humans were never meant to have. So, I must take it away from them. Why? That is none of your concern. So you don't trust me? That's not it. Look, if you saw a toddler playing with a knife, what would you do? I'd probably snatch it away. And what would be your reason? Because it's dangerous. The baby doesn't know how to use a knife. He could cut himself, or worse. There's your answer. What? But we're not babies. If we understand what we're dealing with, and if we see the dangers, we can learn how to use it safely. So you say. But to me, you're no different than infants. I will do what I must to protect this world. If that means destroying the Lens of Kresnik, so be it. It's my mission. I see. Don't worry, Jude. None of this will concern you once we reach Nia Kara. No. What's going on? It would seem we can't linger around here anymore. So they did follow us. I don't know, kid. They found us awfully fast, considering this isn't their home turf. Well, it's not like we can ask them about it. Let's go before they find us. There's an exit in the western part of town. That must be the way to the Kajara Sea Falls. The soldiers beat us here. Great. Now what? We force our way through. Right, and fast, before any more arrive. So that's your plan? Just charge through? <laughs> I thought I was hot-headed. We're trying to figure out how to get past those soldiers. 
Way to cut to the chase. So, those people... they're in your way? Hey! What? Ah! What in the world? How did you do that? What's going on here? Child, you know you're never to leave the shed. Rashigal troops? Curse you! How dare you come here! Huh? Where's she going? Which way did she go? Toward the square. What? No, she mustn't. You all must be outsiders. You should hurry and leave this place. I have no idea what just happened, but I ain't complaining. Things just got easier for us. Let's get out of here. You know that girl we saw in Hamil? The one with the weird doll thing? What about her? You didn't think that was odd? You can't waste your energy on other people's business. All part of growing up, kid. But she was controlling that doll and shady people were chasing her. That doesn't bother you? Yeah, plenty of that going around. I mean, just look at ourselves. I think we have enough on our own plates. You really want more irregularities in life? <sighs> Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, mind you. No one's got a bigger helping of weird than Mila. And she doesn't seem to mind. Well, that's certainly true. I wonder how we can reach out to the Azure military. Why are you so interested in them? Because they say the Azure military hires based on ability, regardless of status. That's certainly not how it works in Rashigal. Is that right? Yeah. All of Rashigal's officials are descended from nobility. Traditions are lovely and all, but that doesn't leave a lot of juicy gigs for mercenaries like myself. But I wouldn't want to live in Azure. The clans are always fighting amongst themselves. There's no way I'd be able to concentrate on my studies. Hmm. Different humans have such different priorities. And here you sit, above it all. Correct. I don't intervene in the affairs of human society. Jerry!
Hey, Alvin, about your weapon. You've got an eye for good steel. This is one heck of a blade. Actually, I meant the other one. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it channels fire spirits and projects their arts at foes. Yeah, something like that. That's incredible. Where'd you get it? Oh, I see how it is. You're the envious type. Stare all you want, kid. I ain't giving it up. You don't have to treat me like a child. Oh, come on. I'm just yanking your chain. Once we cross the Kijara Sea Falls, we'll reach Niakara, the village of the spirits. At least the soldiers didn't come after us. I hope we didn't make trouble for those villagers. They were so kind to us, too. What else could we do but run? Rashagal's troops showed up. The villagers picked the fight, not us. How can you talk like that? Maybe they were trying to protect us. If you're worried about them, then maybe you should go back. It was a pleasure knowing you, Jude. Thank you for all of your help. How can you be so cold? You'd rather I get emotional? I'm afraid I don't have that luxury. What is it you humans say? I've no time for waxing sentimental. Because of your mission? Precisely. So you think your emotions would prevent you from doing what you have to do? Can a person still fulfill their duty if they become emotional? Only one way to find out. You'd have to try and see. Well then, you should take your own advice. Huh? Just be yourself and do what you have to do. Maybe then you'll have your answer. I suppose. Don't go thinking you have to act like the great Lord Maxwell here. You're only human. Hey, are you on a mission too? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are you sure you really want to know? Huh? I don't want to make you feel like the odd one out now. Uh. So, what are you gonna do, kid? Go back to the village? No. All right, let's go. 